All right, guys, I'm back here with another day and another TVX kill, right? First off, before I go any further, I'm not sure if you all are checking the details of the videos, but I'm giving away cryptocurrency, right? It's free. Like, all you got to do is sign up for an account at Coinbase, watch a couple videos, answer the questions. They're giving you free crypto. Like, you are silly if you're not doing it, because seriously, I mean, all you got to do is answer the questions, get some free crypto, and just let it run. Like, seriously, and if you join our boot camps, like, you will be able to learn how to use the same patterns that we use for trading stocks to trade crypto, and you will totally kill it, right? Anyways, so let's let's get into my Kivix trade today, right? So, first off, let's take a look at the SPY real quick. As you can see, right, SPY, man the nasty nasty open i was hitting tvix in the pre-market right let me show you the pre-market for tvix so in the pre-market right tvix gapped up man look at that like that was nice gapped up and and you had this perfect perfect little flag break right here right so when i hit this this morning i i wanted to hit it right here and i thought well i'll wait and then it's kept going sideways consolidating and then i'm like well you know what if it breaks this flag right here i'll take it like i didn't have much much risk at all i mean i maybe a buck i think it's about what i took on that right so i, I took it and i ran up there i sold half of it right and i'm thinking it's gonna go up further it just went sideways sideways came back down i re-added some shares right here and then I actually ended up getting out of my entire position up here because I thought, oh, there's no way it's going to run past 125, right? So I'm like, it's okay, cool. Because, you know, the market, the SPY kind of runs different in the morning, right? Usually, especially if it if, if the SPY is, is down in the pre-market, it usually kind of ramps back up, at least at the open. So I didn't want to get caught with my pants down, so to speak, right? Like, I didn't want to get hit um when the when the market opened and spy took off and then tvix kind of you know just flushed so i'm like that's cool not wait maybe maybe tvix will something else because again i mean this market was just I, I didn't feel real comfortable trading a lot of different stocks right and again tvix has worked for me for the last two weeks right so why try to you know change something that's not broken right it's working for me so i mean what well, we, we go through every day looking for stocks right that we could hit multiple times i mean if you can get a stock that you can play three or four different ways and rip your your goal or your profit for the day then you would be a fool to try to play multiple stocks right so again kivix has been working for me and i'll just use the spy chart as my as my guide right so when i see the spy rolling over or it's going back red or it's going down you know, it's breaking down through uh through support levels um then i'm just hitting i'm hitting kivix with everything i got right so kivix right started out here and this was like the most boring part like i almost thought i wasn't going to trade at all today right i'm like ah, i made some money in a pre-market i'm good you know, it, it came out here and then it started breaking down, right? And I thought, well, shit, it's going the opposite way. And usually, usually what I've been doing, like, you know, I've been I've been setting limit orders, like, towards the bottom, hoping that, like, on these candles where people are getting shaken out, like, I'm hoping I'm able to catch a, um, a quick fill, right? Because as soon as it comes down here, I mean, look at these wicks. It comes down to 120 and then it comes right back up. I mean, that's... A, two dollars you got two dollars you know two or three dollars a separation from the bottom of the candle to the bottom of the wick right and that's like it's almost like an easy two three dollar rip right like i mean that's almost taking an instant trade so i you know and then usually if i can catch it there you know usually i'll just try to ride you know ride my stop up just a little bit um to make sure that i'm in the profit right that i don't get that i don't get shook out but as soon as i hit it right here right as soon as i get the ring confirmation candle Yeah, as soon as I got the green candle to, to hold, um, I went ahead and hit it. And I hit it pretty good. Like, I mean, I hit it with, with some serious position size, right? So it goes up, and it's just a 9 EMA rider the whole damn day, right? I sold half right, right, right. I think, I, I mean, let me check real quick. Yeah, I sold half right about about here. And then I got a quarter up here, right? Because I'm thinking, like, at some point, this is kind of extended. I mean, because look, the move really started... At 121.66, right? I'm thinking at this point we're, we're almost up eight bucks. Like there's just no way I'm gonna this move is gonna be sustained. And 
I had no idea. So it flags out, right? And I thought, okay, cool. It's going to pull back in the $9 reload there. Well, once I got that green candle to hold, I missed it, right? Because, you know, I'm human. I had to go take a pee. So I came back, right? And it was breaking above this flag. So it broke out, intraday flag breakout. Pushes up. I'm like, oh my God, like this is awesome. Wrote it up, right? And it came back here. And I just kept thinking like, you know what? I don't think it's done because the SPY was down. The SPY was, was like big red candles down on this. So I just went ahead and held it, right? I didn't want to dump it yet because I thought, well, you know, I just, I just managed my stop. I just kept bringing my stop up. Just kept bringing it up. Just kept my stop right underneath the 9 EMA, right? So I figured worst case, because I'm already in profits at this point. So worst case, if it busts down below the 9, hits my stop, oh well, you know, it's still a profitable trade. So it just kept going up, going up, going up. And then like right about here, like my stress level was, was it was off, man. Like I, I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it no more, right? Because I kept thinking like, man, at some point it's just, gonna, I don't, I kept thinking about the other day when we had that, when the Fed came out and announced the rate and we had that, that $9 flush, that $9 candle, it scared the shit out of me, right? So I'm thinking like at some point the bulls are going to come to the rescue or something or something's going to happen. Somebody's going to flip on some algos and then it's going to go shit. So, you know, I got out this point right here and I thought, you know what? I'm done for the day, right? Midday, nothing good ever happens during midday, but today was a great day for midday. So it came back and then it kind of held the nine. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I can hit this thing again. But like, you know, I went back and I looked at levels on my daily, right? And I said, you know, I'm like, if we can get above 141, right? Like, because we had room up to 141. And I thought getting up to 138 was going to be rough. But I knew we had level, we had level price level support, um, or, or sorry, the the previous resistance for uh, TVX was at like 141. I thought if we can get to 141, we've got a shot all the way up to 150 because that's the next level of resistance, right? Of price resistance. So I I went ahead and, and hit it down here, and I mean look, you know you hit it right here at 136, selling into 137. Is I I actually completed a trade in this candle, came back, I hit it again, and then I sold half up here, and then it went sideways, sideways, pushed up again, right? And I thought, wow, like there's just no way, like it just, because it kept having a problem with 138. So when it hit 138, it just flushed back down. So I'm like, as long as I kept my stop and I didn't get stopped out here, I was still good. I knew we still had a chance to kind of break the 138, and it did. It broke to 138, but like almost to 140. Then it got up here to 140 and it broke up to 140. I think it was like 143, close to it. Yeah, it's like 143.17, right? So like that was awesome. Yeah, actually, yeah, it broke to 143.17. So, and then at that point, you know, I, that was it. Like, I just don't think it's got enough to run. But I mean, look, you still could have taken another trade in it there. So again, like I said, Good stocks are always going to give you multiple opportunities. I mean, like I took multiple shots in the pre-market. Then I took a shot two hours after the market was open, right? And I mean, I looked at other things. I mean, I, I shorted some JNUG today. Um, you know, I just, JNUG is not a, tr a stock that I ever trade well. Um, I mean, I did okay on it, but, you know, I mean, I didn't, I didn't rip. I, let me put this way. When I short JNUG, I actually, like, I'm, I'm a, ball of nerves right because it's just shorting is not something that i'm great at i'm okay i'm good i can I, i'm profitable i'm just not i just can't just short jnug for whatever reason i can long the hell out of it but shorting it i just don't know how to read that stock when it's going down right i just don't know how to get a good feel for the way that it moves but man this thing was just awesome like and you can just shred and at some point like, I, I, what, at one point here like i got ballsy right like I went and doubled my normal risk, right? I can usually risk about 500 bucks a trade. You know, <clears throat> I went and I risked a thousand bucks a trade, right? Like, you know, that's, that was huge for me, right? But I'm playing with house money at this point. So if I, if I risk a thousand, I mean, what's really, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna lose some free money. Okay, you know, but look what happened. You know, I, it was my duty. It was my, it was my duty to add risk, right? It's my job to add risk. And look what happened. That risk paid off, right? No balls, no babies, right? No guts, no glory. You 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 gotta you gotta add that risk in order to reap those rewards. But but again, this is how hot that is. And and again, 
here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. First off, hit the like button, right? Because apparently um, this is not showing up in some people's feeds or in their searches and stuff. And I really wanna kind of share this with people because I mean, it's so simple how to trade something like this, right? Especially in the market that's like this, people are hunting and looking for stocks that are, you know, if they're getting lucky or ripping, you know, 50 cents, 75 cents, maybe a buck. I mean, dude, Cubix, look at this. It's up 36 freaking dollars, right? So you go ahead and keep hunting for those 50 cent, you know, returns, right? I'll go ahead and keep playing the $36 one, right? I, I like that. I, I like the fact that this this stock, it was at what, 90, what what was it yesterday? 104, 105? I'm not sure even what it was yesterday. Let's go back and look. So it closed yesterday at what? Like above 100, right? And it's up 34%. Like that's badass. But again, hit the like button, right? Subscribe if you're not subscribed because I'll be making a lot more of these uh, daily trade recaps of the trades that I take, good and bad. I'm not just going to show the good ones. Uh, I just haven't had a bad trade in two weeks, really. So, which is kind of really awesome and knock on wood. So, hopefully the stock odds will continue to to bless me. But, but again, like I said, if you go into the description for this video, right, and, uh, and the other videos I have as well, I have links to... Um, Ten dollars cash free from Coinbase if you sign up for it. I also have um, a few invites left for different cryptocurrencies. Like all you gotta do is sign up for it, watch the videos. You know the questions are really simple, right? If you watch the video, um, you should know the answer is really easy because they're they're pretty obvious. But if you take the quiz and you pass the the, the if you answer them correctly, um, you'll get free crypto, right? And then you'll be in the game for crypto as well. And you'll be able to take the same patterns that I'll show you um, through through our boot camp as well as through um, various lessons I offer here. And you'll be able to apply those as crypto as well. So again, I appreciate it. Thanks.